Hey guys, it's Liv. I'm definitely not a professional or even experienced DIY video maker, so I'm sorry if this is a bit confusing, but I tried to make it as easy to follow as possible. I first made one just because I thought it looked kind of cool, but I never thought I would actually wear it. But recently, I've been wearing them all the time, and I actually love them. Um, I thought like when I put it on it felt a little bit weird and I was like oh, I'll probably just keep this on for a few minutes But I've worn it for full days and full nights and I actually love it like it looks so good So I hope you guys can all make one of these if you're interested and Yeah, then you don't have to spend like a hundred dollars on the ones that you can see on Instagram If you want to learn how to make a hand chain then keep watching these are all of the materials you're going to need so you need chain whatever kind of chain you want this is the kind that I got this size this one is 96 inches so you don't need this much but I'm pretty sure this is like a standard length that chains come in and then you'll need some jump rings so you can get these at probably any craft store or store that sells jewelry making stuff they just look like this they're just little silver rings and you just want to get a color that matches your chain and then you also need a lobster claw, the little clip things that you use to fasten the bracelet, um, and get that also in the same color. And then you're just going to need either a pair of wire cutters or I just use big nail clippers, they work fine. And then one or two pairs of tweezers. I find sometimes I need a smaller pair and sometimes I want the big flat end one. If you want to do a more decorative type of chain, that's totally fine. Like I made this one and I got this type of chain to use as the bracelet part and then I just did regular chain for the rest of it. But for the one that I'm going to show you, I'm just going to be using this normal chain. And then also if you want to put any jewelry little things on it like I have on this one then you can also buy those and I'll tell you like when you would put those on and all of that first thing you have to do is open up your chain and I'm pretty sure you can order all of these types of jewelry making things online as well so you're going to measure the circumference of your middle finger don't be stupid like I was and measure it so tightly that you can't put the ring on or off so you have to measure it in a way that allows you to slip it on and off but you don't want it to be too big or else it will just like fall off your finger so this is probably a good amount what I'm just doing is putting my little tweezer thing into the loop that I want so that I remember which one I need. And then just open up your jump rings and dump a few out. To open a jump ring, hold on to it with the tweezers and find the part where, so you can see this little um, line on it and that's where it closes. So you're just gonna hold on to it and then use your tweezers and your finger to pry it open like this and you're gonna put the ring onto it and then you're going to put the end onto it to close it to make a ring shape like this and you're gonna have this ring part. You test it, make sure that it fits your finger but essentially this is what it will look like. And at this point you can definitely add like a little jewel or anything that you want to hang off there if that's what you're into but um, I'm just gonna go on because I'm not doing that. So next you're going to measure the length to your wrist. So you can measure it to your wrist, but remember that if you ever want to bend your arm, you're not gonna be able to. So I suggest bending your hand down a bit, measuring where that is when you're like this, and then you put your hand up and it will be a bit loose, but it won't be too bad. Remember what loop that is and then Use your wire cutters or your clippers and just clip that so that it is detached from your chain. So you're just going to set that aside for now. And the next thing you want to do is measure your bracelet size. So all you have to do for that is just measure around your wrist. And you want it to be fairly snug because you're going to add also a jump ring and a lobster claw to it. So I measure mine pretty snugly and I'm just going to clip that and then I have my 
bracelet length. With the same thing again with the jump ring, we're just going to add a jump ring to the end of this, um, to the bracelet. So I just take my tweezers and I open it up. And you just slip it on and then close your jump ring. You should have something that looks like this with the jump ring at the end. And then on the other end of it, you're going to take your lobster claw and attach it to this end. To attach your lobster claw onto the end, <laughs> you're just going to open up a jump ring, put the bracelet on, and then you're going to slide the lobster claw on as well, like this. And then you're just going to close it up again, like this. The next thing you want to do is just lay out your bracelet like this and you are going to basically just attach this part to here and to find the center fold your bracelet in half. You're just going to find the middle link and I'm going to open up a jump ring, this one, and then I'm going to put this one on it as well and then you're just going to close it up. This is the basis of your hand chain. So you have the part that attaches to your finger and then the part that goes around to your wrist. So this can actually be just fine as a hand chain and it will attach like this. So the test that you want to do is that the um, finger is not going to fall off. So if you hold your hand down, see it slides down my finger, but it doesn't slide down so far that it can fall off. So you can just have a plain hand chain like this or you can make it a little bit fancier which is what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to attach chain from here to here and here to here. What you want to do is just cut two pieces of chain. Um, I did 26 links long so they're both 26. And then basically you're just going to attach them with a jump ring. So you want to count out the same amount out here to attach them to and then just put them on the same link up there. The three different jump rings and yeah. So let's do here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so I'm going to do it on the sixteenth one. So I have it attached to both and I'm just going to close it up. By pinching it shut with my tweezers. So I've got that one attached to there. And I'm going to attach it up. You just open up another jump ring and you just want to make sure you count so that everything's even and you know which ones you're attaching it to on both sides. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side really quick and then I'll be back. And this is the finished product. So it has the ring and these two parts. So if you want now, on this one I attached a little jewel that I also got at the jewelry store so I just attached it in the middle so you could just attach it onto this jump ring here and yeah that would be super easy and yeah that's all there is to it so I'm just gonna put it on and I will show you and this is what it looks like on what are your jungle?